I'm very happy to present to you the ePlan and Cedion strategy to give you a quick overview about our major strategic uh, levers and strategic thrusts uh, we are joining together uh, with you where we would like to help you, our customers, to um, further offer solutions to become more efficient. Um, I would like to say in the beginning that, uh, of course, we are open very much for questions as we are here on a live uh, stream, on a live presentation. So don't hesitate to uh, forward our, uh, your questions to us. We will then answer it after my presentations uh, in, uh, in the chat possibility. So let me go now to the uh, strategy. Um, uh, we, ePlan and Cidion, for those of you who do, don't know us so well, we are part of the Friedhelm Low Group. Uh, the Friedhelm Low Group uh, uh, has more than 11,500 employees worldwide. Rital is the most value, um, uh, uh, well known brand around the world. ePlan and Cidion, uh, we together form the software division um, of uh, the Friedhelm Low Group. We are present in more than 50 countries around the world and I'm very happy to hear that we have more than, uh, from more than 35 countries, we have uh, different registrations for this virtual fair. Uh, and uh, our software is available in 18 uh, languages. So uh, we are very happy and we are very much looking forward to serve you uh, as uh, we have more and more international needs for streamlined communication, for streamlined engineering, for standardized engineering around the world. So the three topics I will be talking about are the following. The first topic is the topic of mechatronics. Mechatronic means that the different engineering disciplines like electrical and controls engineering, our key domain uh, together with PLC and software engineering and mecha mechanical engineering are working together uh, more intensively uh, than in the past. So we um, strongly believe and know from customers' experience that there are more efficiency gains, more savings, a better cooperation if these three engineering disciplines work closer together with each other and we will show you uh, in different sessions ways how we as ePlan and Cidion can help with our solutions to enable this better working together in a mechatronical engineering. The second topic is the value chain, the integrated value chain. While in former times uh, we were looking, the industry was looking at engineering itself, we are now really looking to see how we can optimize the whole value chain. So the question is, which information, for example, do we need from sales, which then is uh, feeded into the engineering, or how can also engineering support production and assembly? How can engineering also support a better and more efficient operations and service? This is a second big topic uh, where we see more and more companies, more and more uh, customers combining the different uh, steps of the value chain to make one uh, automized, one streamlined, one integrated process. The third most important topic we are looking at are data, is data, PDM, product data management. Data is becoming more and more important to automize the processes. Uh, so we are putting a um, very high focus uh, on uh, data uh, to streamline and optimize the processes. Let me now go into more detail on each of uh, the three topics. First of all, mechatronics. Um, we have the vision of a joint house of mechatronics. House of mechatronics means that the engineering disciplines are working much closer together than in the past. We will offer and we are offering already uh, lots of uh, solutions and tools how to optimize the communication between the three different uh, engineering disciplines. But there is much more to come, there is much more to go in the future. Uh, we are talking and we are uh, think how to talk about a mechatronic bill of material, about mechatronic uh, reuse, about even mechatronics configuration, so not a specific mechanical or electrical, but a mechatronical configuration. 
So the house is very large and we are very happy to uh, join forces together with you to see how can we successively improve uh, and enable uh, a better uh, cooperation between the three engineering disciplines. The second big point is uh, the integrated value chain. So again, also here some examples. Uh, normally a customer starts uh, the interaction with the sales department and asks, uh, arranges with a salesman of your company which machine or how he wants uh, a specific machine uh, be constructed. So there's a lot of information which uh, may be derived from sales which we can use in the engineering, for example, for configuration purposes, because some things are and may be predefined during the sales process. So we are looking very much uh, as Eplan and Cedion also in the topic of configuration and therefore combine forces with the different sales tools. On the other hand, for example, uh, it's very important that all the topics like bill of material are available for production planning, are available for the purchasing department. Uh, so uh, via Cedion we are offering, for example, um, PLM, Engineering Control Center, ECTR interfaces from different uh, mechanical CAD tools and also from ePlan into the SAP PLM world in order to uh, standardize the information flow of, uh, uh, for example, bill of material into the ERP system. We are also talking uh, and seeing how to optimize production and assembly of, for example, control cabinets, how to save time in, uh, on the blue color worker side, for example, by doing a virtual cabinet design with ePlan Pro Panel, or how to support the wiring uh, in a um, machine or in a, a cabinet uh, with our smart wiring solution. So again, if you engineer very properly, if you do a virtual, complete virtual uh, model uh, of, uh, for example, a cabinet, you can then have a much shorter time in the production and assembly. Last but not least, uh, we are also researching how to better support the operations and services process. We have shown on the last uh, fairs, on the last live fairs, how we connect uh, to live information from, for example, a component like SICK or a Moore component, uh, feeding their error messages uh, if something is wrong via OPC UA back to the ePlan schematic design so that you can then see within the ePlan schematic uh, on the page 37 exactly the component which has sent an error signal via uh, OPC UA. So there is a lot of options, a lot of potential also to um, streamline and uh, improve uh, the efficiency and the time to see and uh, analyze uh, errors even in the operations and in the service uh, area. A very good example to show the complete value chain uh, we are showing with our sister company Rital. Um, if we're looking for example at uh, the value chain for control cabinets. Control cabinets also can and should be designed with ePlan uh, Pro Panel, so you have a complete virtual image of a certain cabinet. Then of course you have many Rital components which fit in, uh, the cabinets, the uh, cooling, uh, power supply and so on and so forth. So you assemble the components also from different manufacturers and then of course you also have certain uh, areas where you need to cut holes in a cabinet and all this information if you build up a complete virtual uh, cabinet uh, within uh, ePlan Pro Panel for example then you uh, don't need to program the machine to cut holes or the machine to do an automatic wiring by hand manually you can then automatically use the information which is provided by ePlan to automatically uh, generate the NC code to run these machines so that the holes are really uh, uh, cut at the right place. And for those of you who, have, uh, who are in Germany, 
uh, at some point in time we would like to cordially invite you to our new Rital Innovation Center, uh, uh, one hour away from the Frankfurt Airport, uh, where we can really show you those machines and the complete value uh, chain uh, live at work. The third important topic uh, is the data and uh, this connects also to the value chain to the second topic. Uh, I mentioned already that via our um, sister company Sidion we have um, very good uh, means how to integrate data for example from SolidWorks, from Inventor, from SolidEdge, from AutoCAD and of course from Eplan uh, Electric P8 into the SAP system. And within the SAP system then this information like bill of material information is then distributed along the different processes wherever this uh, information is required, whether it's in the purchasing department, in the controlling department, in the manufacturing department uh, and so on and so forth. So a truly integrated process. And we also see at this example how the technical software world and the commercial software world are growing more and more together. So we don't need to enter a bill of material two or three or four times uh, in the, uh, along the whole process with all the problems of, of making uh, uh, mistakes or of committing errors. We also have a presentation later on showing how, to, how this integration uh, via engineering control center is working. So now to the uh, third big point, uh, it's data. Data is the required fuel for the 21st century. Data is becoming more and more important. The more I want to automate a process, the more and the more accurate data uh, we need. Uh, while when we only look at engineering, for example, uh, for electrical engineering, we might only need the electrical macro for schematic design, so one information. But if we also want to order automatically, of course, we also need the order number for the ERP systems. If we also want to automate the wiring, we also need the wiring data for the robot, meaning at, uh, how many, for example, uh, wires fit at which place uh, in a terminal or something like that. The robot really needs to know exactly where to put the wire and how to fix it uh, in the respective area. So I'm very happy to tell you that um, uh, regarding the number of component suppliers, uh, regarding the number of components and regarding the numbers of users, uh, the ePlan data portal is really growing rapidly year over year, showing that there is a huge benefit for the end user uh, to take really the data, for example, from a specific component he wants to use for a specific terminal, for a specific switch, right from the ePlan data portal, because then he already has all the information he needs to automate the process. And the more we want to automate the processes, the more time we want to save, the more information we also need uh, from each for each components. So we are not only looking for increasing the number of components which are in the ePlan data portal, we are also looking for increasing the quality of each of the components which is in the ePlan data portal. So with this I would like to end my uh, summary presentation uh, which has been focusing upon the three strategic pillars, three strategic levers. One is mechatronics, working together between the three engineering disciplines. The second one is value chain, working along the value chain until operational service. And the third one was the data. We are open now for questions, so please just let us know them by chats if you haven't uh, already sent them to us. And I will answer uh, shortly. One question from user, what is Sidion? Uh, Sidion is a sister company of ePlan, also belongs uh, to the uh, software group which I have presented in the beginning. Uh, Sidion's expertise is the, uh, are the interfaces to, e uh, to, to SAP, to the ERP system. Uh, so uh, if you're running, if your company is running uh, SAP as an ERP system, then uh, talk to us and we will 
uh, be able to explain you how to best uh, streamline and optimize uh, the processes. Any other questions? Yeah, to uh, how do you uh, extend the value chain in engineering with partners? Also very interesting questions. Um, we have a lot of partners and if you uh, are live uh, on our stage or also if you look now at the virtual fair on the partner side, you see a lot of partner logos. Why? Because uh, we want to enable our customers to have integrated streamlined processes. So we have many partners in many areas uh, on the, on the uh, engineering software side. We are not only integrating um, into SAP, which I have just mentioned. We are also integrating into the Siemens Team Center, into PTC's Windshield, into Autodesk's Vault, uh, to mention some examples on, on the SPS PL, uh, uh, PLC software side. We have uh, worldwide more than 10 different partners uh, such as uh, ABB, Schneider Electric, Rockwell, Siemens again, Phoenix, um, uh, to just mention a few of them, Omrom, um, uh, whom we are connecting, Mitsubishi, whom we are connecting with in order to also enable a streamlined information exchange between the PLC engineering and the electrical engineering. Yeah, another good question. Is the Rital Innovation Center op open public or, book, uh, or booking is required? The second is true. There is a required, uh, booking is required. So contact us. We will forward then the lead and uh, we normally organize specific tours uh, for interested groups. Uh, so uh, contact uh, our, your e-plan contact guy, we'll then forward it to our colleagues from Rital and then we'll organize a tour for a group of customers uh, or for your company if there are many, uh, so we'll find a solution for this. Um, I see another question, does Cedion uh, ECTR, Engineering Control Center, run live with a customer. Any references? There are many, many references. There is many, many uh, uh, quadruple, uh, four-digit uh, or five-digit number of licenses out in the market sold via the SAP price list. So there are many, many live customers uh, uh, which have an integration uh, between the different uh, MCAT systems and, and SAP. Another question, do you see the need of simulation in electrical engineering and is it a strategy of ePlan to expand in this area? Yes, uh, we are always open and curious how to optimize the overall processes like I was showing on the value chain. Simulation is one imp uh, important topic, of course. Uh, you can already see on our fluid side how we uh, offer a fluid simulation together with a partner. Uh, we are looking into simulation is not simulation. There are many different simulation tools. You can simulate how something falls down. You can simulate uh, uh, wind properties and so on. And we are also looking at uh, how we can support our customer in uh, simulating electrical properties or how to integrate to the respective uh, tools in the market. What is um, the ePlan uh, roadmap in terms of enterprise library management, macros and templates, any cloud-based technologies in the roadmap? Also very interesting questions. Uh, as some of you might know, uh, we have uh, our ePlan data portal since uh, many years. Uh, we offer it as a cloud-based solution. We have now very recently also officially announced uh, the respective partnership with Microsoft Azure. So you can find a uh, um, data portal case study on, on the Microsoft uh, homepage. Uh, which is very interesting for us. But we are also looking for other solutions like the Syngineer, uh, which you see also in this virtual fair in uh, later uh, as a cloud-based solution. So we are looking 
uh, a lot um, on cloud-based uh, technologies in, in our roadmap uh, to also ease for you the exchange of data uh, across the world, across different uh, locations. If I see it correctly, this was at the moment the last question, but if you have more, don't hesitate to uh, send us uh, respective emails, uh, respective chats here during the uh, fair. Um, uh, please also look at uh, the feedback of the whole virtual fair so that we can optimize it when we do it a third time next year. Uh, and there is a possibility to win an iPad uh, if you fill this uh, feedback for the overall sessions out for us. Thank you very much and enjoy the other presentations now uh, coming up. Everything is live streamed, everything is live, so uh, looking forward to talking to you, looking forward to chat to you and looking for a great uh, experience on this ePlan and Cedion virtual fair. Thank you very much.